Okay, this is a really, really, really quick way to uh, make some fire. So just select any object in your scene that you want and you're going to go to the object settings up here and go to quick effects and then quick smoke. Now we have a little domain scene with the object emitting smoke, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately though, the resolution is really bad. Uh, so you can change that by going and changing the resolution here to preferably a number that is a multiple of 32 or a multiple of four. So I'm gonna try 128 and it's going much slower now because it's a much finer smoke, but uh, it's doable. I want to add some fire to this smoke, so I'm going to select the objects that uh, we initially had and I'm going to change the flow type from smoke to fire and smoke. Now in the shader editor, I'm going to select the domain and I'm going to turn up the anisotrophy here to allow some more light to pass through. And I'm going to turn up the black body intensity um, because when we play it back, there's going to be fire now and we want to make sure that the fire is bright enough that it's going to really emit. Cool. Now um, you're welcome to change the smoke color to uh, whatever you want. You can make it darker, lighter, you can make more density if you want. You can also change the uh, black body tint color <laughs> to be some really wacky shades. It's pretty cool. All in all though, this is just a quick way to do some uh, fire. It's not the greatest, so I'm going to do a more in-depth tutorial on how to make some nicer fire soon. But for now, it's just a real quick way to get some quick results.